What's up? San Diego's the best. I love performing in San Diego, right? It's the best. San Diego's, everyone's hot. Everyone's chill. Everyone in San Diego is the chillest version of themselves. <laughs> like, I got pulled over earlier. The cop had Crocs on. <laughs> it's pretty chill. I was like, why are you pulling me over? He's like, you're hanging too loose. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? He goes, you're getting a DUI. <laughs> Glad to be back out. Glad to be back out in crowds, telling jokes, having fun. I miss this. It's been a crazy couple years. Is this, guy, is this happening to you guys? Are you starting to remember your life from before everything? <laughs> right? It's been so crazy. I forgot my whole life before all of this. Right? Like a couple years ago, my mom got married. I just forgot. <laughs> Such a bad son. How can I forget? She was so adorable and basic on Instagram when she got engaged. With the pose. And the ring. And the caption, right? The caption, found my hashtag forever. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? But she forgot she has a comedian troll for a son. Because <laughs> I was right there with the first comment. Mom, this is your fourth wedding. <laughs> How many forevers do you get? This doesn't seem fair. <laughs> I told her, I was like, Mom, you can edit captions. You should change it to found my hashtag for <laughs> Right? Yeah. And she blocked me. <laughs> Tough. Welcome back. <laughs> Trying to be a better person in all aspects of my life, with my mom, with comedy, with relationships. My girlfriend and I, we decided... <laughs> I have never been more offended in my fucking life. I was not gonna curse this whole time, but what the fuck? What the fuck? That's why we need cancel culture. It's shit like that. We need accountability. People used to not be able to do that because those people thought I was gay. And you used to not be able to do that, right? That's how they do it. They still do it. People will still assume I'm gay just like that. Dude bros, dude bros love to assume I'm gay. You know how dude bros do it? They always are surprised I like sports. <laughs> right? I was around a couple dude bros, brought up my fantasy football team, and one of them was like, you like fantasy football? <laughs> Which part of the football is your fantasy specifically, huh? <laughs> is it the tight end? I'm like, get out of here. Dude. <laughs> We decided to not fight as much. We did, my girlfriend and I decided not to fight as much. I started going to therapy, started reading books about it, started talking to my friends in more successful relationships, and I found the perfect way to slow the fights back down. You guys wanna know? Yeah. We broke up! See, I hate that you were right. We were always fighting. She's always using all kinds of stuff against me. She's using the constellations against me. Do we got any astrology girls here in the crowd? Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, that's actually a fair response. We have way more astrology girls here, but all of them are like, the moon told me not to answer questions like that. <laughs> she's always using this app against me, it's called CoStar. <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah. No, she's like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> see, CoStar is very anti-boyfriend. <laughs> And CoStar was my proof that phones listen to us. You guys think phones listen to us, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Here's how I know phones listen to us. Because there was one day I was making fun of CoStar to my girlfriend. And then the next day CoStar was like, there's a toxic energy cloud in your aura right now <laughs> that you need to do something about or at least start charging rent. I was like, whoa, CoStar. Whoa, dude. I need to find this group over here. Like, how did they get the beat on me? That's the most thing, that's the thing that makes me the most mad. Is because you sound like my ex-girlfriend, right? Cause she got mean after the breakup. She got mean. I didn't want to get back together. She asked me if I was gay, right? And if I was gay, if I ended up gay, it's her fault. Cause she's proudly bisexual. She was always trying to get me to be a little gay, right? She wanted me to have a gay hall pass. You guys know what the concept of a hall pass is, right? 
Yeah, see, I don't have time to get into it. It's basically diet cheating. But she said that I could have a gay hall pass. She said, you pick out one guy, and if you want to have sex with that guy, it's not cheating, and it's not gay. And I don't think she thought I was gay because I had an answer. I think she thought I was gay because I had an answer immediately. <laughs> right? She explained the whole concept to me, and she's like, who's your gay hall pass? And I was like, Billy from Stranger Things, seasons two and three. <laughs> right? And it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, okay? <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke? It's a joke. It's a joke, but what if I meet him and he's funny and says the right things, right? <laughs> like, I'm straight, I'm not stupid. <laughs> we split custody of a dog? Yeah, bummer, right? I didn't know, I did not know I was not ready for how much girls love dogs. <laughs> girls love dogs, right? Love dogs. They love three very specific kinds of dog. They love their dog. <laughs> They love their family's dog, and then they love every other dog, every single one. You know what girls hate as much as they love as dogs? Red flags, right? Girls hate red flags, always looking out for red flags. So fellas, if you don't want to work on your red flags, just get a dog, turn that red flag into a bandana, girls look right past it. You could literally name the dog red flag and she'd be like, RF spells ARF. And she'd have like a shirt for him. It's like, where did you get a shirt for him? very feminine dude, it's not my fault. I got five sisters and two moms, all my friends are girls. And when you spend as much time around girls as I do, you start to notice the little like microaggressions aimed at them all over forever, everywhere, right? Like, did you guys know, did you know that they were calling white cotton tank tops wife beaters until they're still doing it? Like they're still doing it. That is absurd that they're still doing it. Right? And the most unfair thing about it is that there's no opposite side. Right? Like if spaghetti straps were for some reason called like cock stompers, you couldn't find them at a JC Penny, you know? Republicans would have them outlawed in 50 states and all US territories. There's a lot of other things I've learned um, about women, being surrounded by women. I, this, is, this is one thing I learned. I learned that women love to be right. Right, ladies? Feels good. Yeah. Women love to be right. Might not always want to be correct. Okay, oh, and there's a difference. No, there's a difference. See, right feels good. Doesn't right feel good? Correct, that's mansplaining. Blah, that's out. But right is different than correct. And I'll give you an example. I went, was invited to a young lady's house recently. Looked like I was going to stay the night, right? It's pretty late. And uh, she pulls me away. We're like making out. She stops. She goes, did you bring any condoms? I said, oh, yeah, I did. I brought condoms. They're out in my car. And she just goes, oh, you just got condoms. <laughs> out here, Mr. Sex Man just got condoms. Did you expect to hook up with me? And I was like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? That's not fair, right? Because I had a pair of basketball shirts in my car too. I didn't think we were going to play one-on-one. -on -one, you know? <laughs> Which made a mistake. I'm five inches taller than her. I would have destroyed her. Someone was talking about tattoos earlier. I, I need to get a new tattoo. I got a tattoo of uh, the Triforce here on my wrist. You guys see it? Yeah, the Triforce, right? Yeah, this guy. Right. The three triangles from The Legend of Zelda. Do you guys... What the fuck? Yeah, do you guys know what they stand for? You know what they stand for, right? Wisdom, courage, and virginity throughout high school. Yes, yeah. That's, uh... really my choice there. Girls kind of voted me off the island, but uh, I got my last one. Let's just have fun, right? Let's have fun. Have fun with the world. The world have fun back with you guys. I promise. Sometimes you plant a fun seed, doesn't grow into a joke tree until later. I'll give you an example. Years ago, when I got my first cell phone, my first solo cell phone, I signed up for Sprint with the username Turd Sandwich. It's kind of funny, but I forgot. A couple years ago, I was on the phone with Sprint Customer Care. And Tiffany's helping me with my billing issue. And Tiffany decided to have a little fun with your boy. Because right at the end of the call, she's like, all right, the money we accidentally charge you is going to be reflected on the next cycle. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mr. Sandwich. <laughs> but remember, I, mean, I smoke a lot of weed, so for a second I was like, is my last name Sandwich? <laughs> it's not. 
<laughs> but I was glad she had fun because I was able to have fun back. She was laying it on at the end of the call. She's like, Mr. Sandwich, is there anything else I can do for you? Mr. Sandwich, will that be all? I was like, Tiffany, please. Mr. Sandwich is my father. Call me turd. <laughs> We're friends now. Bye, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>